Hello, uh, welcome to this quick tutorial on uh, photoshopping eyes and things for your images. Uh, in my case I'm going to take this portrait of Byron here because I'm a dog photographer, that's what I do, so I'll be mainly focusing on what I do in my workflow for the dog images I take. But you could probably use this for anything, portraits of people, cats, dogs, chinchillas, ferrets wild killer baboons whatever portrait you're taking then this works on most eyes you just always have to remember to be gentle with it and keep everything natural don't go overboard on these things otherwise your eyes are going to look mega fake and it's really going to ruin your images first thing first open your selected image in photoshop Control j to duplicate the background layer and work on the duplicate of our original image just so we can work non-destructively and then what we're going to do is brightness and contrast with a curves layer followed by color with color balance and then sharpening with a high pass filter i'll explain all these steps as we go along first things first open a curves layer this button here bring up your brightness to where you want it in this case, uh, about there. And then I'm probably going to make an S curve for this, just to bring in a bit of contrast. Ignore what's happening with the rest of them, image, just focus on your two eyes. And then with the layer mask selected, and our foreground colour is white, and background colour is black, if they're the other way around, press X to switch them. Control backspace to fill your layer mask with black to hide the effect. B for the brush tool, shrink the brush right down and slowly paint back in the effect using uh, the brush tool and making sure you're on the layer mask. And painting with white would always help if I explained it properly. Yeah, painting with white on the layer mask will slowly reveal the effect the layer's having. Black hides, white shows on layer masks. Yeah, so there we got our streaks all across the coloured bit of the eyes, avoiding these darker areas and things. And trying to be, yeah, remaining within the colour. And then you might be thinking, oh, but that doesn't look natural at all. I thought you said natural is the way to go. Well, um, we're going to fix that now. So what you want to do is, with the landmark still selected, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, about four in this case, okay. And then, looking at it again, I might reset it with this little back arrow, and now I've only having an effect of area I want, might redo this. Bring up it again, bring a bit of contrast in. And there we go, that's the brightness and contrast. Before, after, before, after. Now colour. Little half white, half black circle here. Colour balance. Bring it up to some garish amount that you're obviously going to be visible. Control backspace on the layer mask. Layer mask again to fill it with black. With foreground colour white, background colour black. Same as we did before. Painting with white on the layer mask, showing the effect back through. Really, really simple. And then I've got a shortcut key set up for this. For but we'll go back, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, blur it. Uh, about 2.7 just so we can see the streaks but it is a bit blurred maybe a bit more maybe 2 point uh, yeah 3.1 is fine okay uh, and then come back to this back arrow press back and then slowly reintroduce the colors really subtle Really natural looking, really don't go overboard, as I said before. Then we want to Control Alt Shift E 
to stamp all those layers into a one layer. Change that blend mode of that layer to overlay. Filter, other, high pass, just to bring a 1.5 is normally fine. To Depending on resolution of your image, you might have to play around with it. Just so things are just starting to be visible, just sharpening it. And then that's overly sharp because sharpened everything. So what we need to do, Alt, click on the layer mask icon down here to put a black layer mask to hide what we just did. Bracket key, bring up the brush, right bracket key brings up the size of the brush tool and then paint the sharpening just over the eye area. And we uh, bring out the sharpening on the eye. Okay, there, there we go. Select all these layers, control G to group them. And uh, zoom out a bit. Close that. And then that's the after image, the before, after, before, after. And as you notice, I just cleaned up a bit of the sleep under his eyes with a healing brush tool before we started the tutorial. But yeah, before, after. And there, just natural way of bringing out the colour and the light in the eyes. Thanks for checking out the tutorial and please visit chewedleashphotography.com for more of my work and more of what I do. I'm a dog photographer based in the Cheltenham area. Uh, thanks for looking and all my social medias are Judy's Photography on Instagram and Facebook and all that. All that jazz. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you ho hope it helped it hope you out. Mm, I can't even speak. Hope it helped you out and you can use it on some of your own images and play around with it. But just keep calm with it at the same time. Keep it natural. Okay, thanks again.